so hello and welcome back now we will see the second technique to automate the sql injection vulnerability in our previous lecture we have we have saw that how to automate sql injection vulnerability which is present in the ur you need to understand and familiar with two new tools first is go spider which is used for crawling and automatic spidering you can just in install by this command it is written in go language and the second is sleuth ql tool sleuth ql tool will help us to extract sensitive request from this http history I have already installed this Go Spider tool in my Kali Linux. I am running Kali Linux in VirtualBox. Go Spider is a inbuilt Kali Linux tool. So let's look at the Go Spider tool. Just type Go Spider, it will open up the help menu. So the hyphen small s is used to crawl a single site iphone capital s s is used to crawl multiple site and iphone p is used for giving a proxy address and port number then there are many option you can set the number of threads number of concurrent number of depth of crawling and you can also specify other sources then you can verbose the output and many more now we will crawl this site test php dot one web dot com there so therefore we just enter this command and specify the burp address and port number i am running on this ip and this port number my burp suit if you don't have change the address then the by default burp suit address and port number is 127.0.0.1 and port is 88 and also i am using the depth of this is 10 so it will crawl very deeply and i am also specifying the iphon a option to extract urls from other sources like archive.org common crawl org virus total.com etc and just press the enter and you will see of this into this http history tab I have already installed in my Windows, so select all by Control A and right click on it, and then go to the Save Items. Just click on it, and I am saving it to the Sleuth QL folder, and giving the file name is. history underscore burp and make sure you have check this option base64 in code and click on the save and it will save the save the report to sleuth sleuth ql folder let's see this Yes, this is a file which we have exported. History underscore burp. Let's try to open it. Open it. So, this is a base sixty four encoded file. You can see this. This is a XML base 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 sixty four encoded file. Now we need to extract sensitive request from this. 
So we need to run Sleuth QL tool. So I'm opening the command prompt. Command prompt is open. Now go to the my Sleuth QL script, which is in desktop, which is in Sleuth QL folder. And yes, this is our burp history file and this is our Sleuth QL file. Just run this command python sluet ql dot by and enter. It will open up the help menu. You can see there are three or four options. Just you need to run python sluet ql dot by. You need to specify the D option. This will test the domain which is available on this burp history. Sometimes it may happen that this GoSpider tool crawl some more domains like uh, some Google APIs or Firefox.com and many more third party domains which we not need to test. So that we need to specify domain. Our domain is testphp.oneweb.com and specify the burp history file by iPhone F option. So I have specified this. This this is a command we need to run and just press the enter. It will give some out. This some request may be a vulnerable to SQL injection attack. So let's see this. This saves, this makes the folder with the domain name. This extracts some request which can be vulnerable to SQL injection. See this. Now what we need to do is we need to run SQL map in this all the requests. My SQL map tool is running in my Kali machine. So I need to just send this request into my Kali machine. So I'm just copying this folder into my machine. And what should I do? I should open up terminal and enter to this folder desktop and test php This contains all the text file. Now I will give you a command with this course. You just need to fire this command. This will test all the text file for SQL injection. This will run SQL map tool in ev each and every text file. So this is a command. Don't worry, I will give you this. And just press enter. And this is just for a uh, testing purpose. And uh, when you are uh, doing this in uh, real life targets, then uh, you have you may have hundreds of or thousands of requests for test. So it may be a time consuming. So this will test for SQL injection one by one. So this is also a best technique for finding SQL injection. Jason. <laughs> Yeah. 
and yes you can see that we have detected a sql injection in this request this is vulnerable with and boolean based blind sql injection so how you so this is how you can test for sql injection This is also vulnerable with time based blind SQL injection. And yes, you can see that this is a payload and the request is this. So let's see this what the request contain. Right. Yes, this is a request which is vulnerable to SQL injection. 